guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is me, the Tsukhafato, and can you believe that I've been working full time as a software engineer for the past three years now, guys? That is so crazy because it feels like just the other day when I was filming my one year as a software engineer, and now we're three years in. It's so crazy. Like, where does the time go? And what's really great is that I've been documenting my whole journey for like the past couple of years, ever since my final year. So if you want to watch the whole journey, I do have have a software development playlist so do check it out I'll link it up in the cards and in the description as well but yeah guys we're three years in and today we're gonna have a little chat nothing too serious I'm just gonna be chatting about my journey throughout the years so like my career growth some challenges milestones you know just nothing too serious guys so I really hope you enjoy it and find it helpful if you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have any questions any comments drop them in the comment section and let us get into it so I'm gonna just start off by rewinding a little bit so I can just you know get an overview of my career so I studied computer science at the University of Pretoria and I finished in January 2021 and I got my results in February 2021 and that allowed me to get my first job which I started in March 2021 and I'm super grateful for that I worked for a company called Motec Fusion I interviewed my boss on here once so do check out the video guys I'll leave it in the description and up in the cards and I worked there for seven months and the reason I left there is because um, it was a small company and you know I was still new to I mean I was like just that was like my first job so I was looking for like more career growth you know looking to work at like a bigger company and yeah so then I moved over to my current job which I've been at for two and a half years now guys so that clearly means I'm enjoying it and yes I am enjoying it I also shared how I got the job through OfferZen link is in the description up in the cards guys just check out the software development playlist guys it has all the content the whole journey but this is like a quick overview so i've been there for two and a half years and in feb i started a new role as a team lead so that's where i'm at now so three years in that's where i am at in my career and guys what a journey it has been so yeah i think i'm happy with the way that my career is progressing about a year and a half into my career um you know i started wanting to learn some back-end work so i work um so i'm originally like a front-end dev but then a year and a half in i want upskill learn more and i started doing some back-end work but i haven't been doing much back-end work recently i still am interested i want to learn more i want to grow and yeah but currently mostly doing front-end work and that's where I am in my career so now we know the history let's fast forward to now so guys I think one of the most important things I've learned over the last three years is that I have so much to learn because <laughs> I feel like the more I learn the more I realize that whoa I don't know everything and there's still so much to learn but that's not a bad thing that's actually to me a really good and exciting thing I know sometimes it's a bit challenging because you know when you think you know everything and then you realize like wait a minute I actually don't but I think it's kind of like your mindset and how you decide to view that so I think it's really exciting to know that okay we're always learning there's always something new to learn and yeah I have been if you've been watching my videos this year you know that this year I've been in my learning era like I just want to grow upskill and learn as much as I can and I know I'm, I don't think I'll probably like get to a point where I'm like I know everything but I just like to learn as much as I can see what I can do and yeah I really enjoy different ways of learning so whether it's like an online course a book a podcast a blog anything like I just enjoy the different forms of media and another really great way that I enjoy learning is through brilliant they have so many interactive courses in math data science programming and AI and I really enjoy that and what I really like about brilliant is that they have like you know the specific courses where you can learn like a certain topic but how I've been using it is actually using it to like improve like my way of thinking and my problem solving skills so I try out all the different courses and yeah just like keeping my streak and just staying on the leaderboard 
so yeah i've been really enjoying that and recently i started the programming with python course and i'm really enjoying it because crazy thing is um like i don't have any experience really with python i started i did it probably like one project in varsity but that was it so it's great to like you know just you know learn i think python is such a uh, popular language and yeah so it's great that uh, Brilliant has that course on there and it's a really simple word, uh, way to learn and they like they really go into the basics so if you don't have any experience do check it out there's like a drag and drop editor and yeah so I'm really enjoying it just learning more about that you know improving my thinking skills I love that for me and if you guys also want to try it out you can get a 30 day free trial by using my code brilliant.org slash tsukhafato I'll also leave it in the description you can also get 20% off the annual subscription by making use of my link so don't miss out guys but yeah guys overall I am in my learning era like I just want to learn as much as I can I'm enjoying it sometimes okay sometimes it's a bit challenging because I think I also do so much so let's actually jump into like the work-life balance so I work fully remote so I'm currently in my workplace. This is where I work at. So this is my office. This is my bedroom. This is my everything. So work-life balance. Um, I think with me, I'm really strict, guys. At 8 a.m., I start work. 5 o'clock. I'm done with work so I'm really strict with my hours which I think is a good thing because it also allows me to uh, be able to do all my other things I do travel for work so like every three months I'll travel to Cape Town so that does sometimes affect like my personal life because like right now it is literally like 11 o'clock and I'm filming this video so like when I'm not um not, when I'm not home sometimes it's hard to actually uh, make sure that you know I'm filming my content I have my emails to respond to I run a candle business uh candles have to be shipped out you know and when I'm not home I can't ship out the candles so sometimes but that doesn't happen too often but overall I think I have a pretty um good work-life balance and by work-life balance i mean like my full-time job work-life balance uh because i also do a lot of work outside of work you know so like um I do web development, I sell candles, I teach people how to code, I do content, so I do a lot of things outside of work, which overall, I don't know if I have a, such a great work-life balance, but in terms of my 9 to 5 uh, versus all my other things, I think I have a good balance. Um, yeah, I'm really strict with my hours. I mean, there are times where sometimes, you know, I have to start out a little bit earlier uh, or end my days a little bit later, but I really try not to make a habit out of that. But when it's my hours 8 to 5, I do do my best during those hours give it my all because you know I'm getting paid to do that so I'm gonna do that and yeah so that's like the work-life balance I think it's pretty good and I think it can I know it can be like so tricky especially when you're working from home the lines can get a bit blurred but I think if you want to like maintain a good work to life uh, work-life balance you really need to be strict with your time and yeah another thing that I want to touch on is um you know teamwork and collaboration because i think that's something that has been big for me in like the last year in my career versus like my first two years so i think when i started out i was really really scared uh to ask for help because it seemed like you know i just need to know everything or it seems like you know if you ask for help then it's like you're saying like oh i don't know how to do things you know but i've learned that you know we're at work as a team you know we're here as a team to work together we're trying to accomplish a you know common goal and you know it's okay to ask for help guys everyone's gonna need help at some point so if you do need the help it's okay to reach out so i've got to really good at that or like much better at that and I think it's so important because you learn people know a lot of things you learn so much from people and it's just a good I think it's really also good to like work together even maybe when you're not asking for help but just sitting with someone coding with them I guess sometimes you get to see a different way of thinking seeing a different way of doing things so I really think it's great to work with other people and yeah guys oh and I think the other thing that stopped me is that I'm actually really like shy and quiet and reserved and I stay in my little corner. I know you guys see me on this channel and it's like yep 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 yep. 
guys I'm a quiet person please <laughs> like I'm quite shy but yeah I think I've really um, over the last year kind of really um, opened up a bit more tried to you know ask questions um, share my ideas where I can I think there is still some room for improvement there but I think I've come a really long way and yeah just really I think now I want to focus on doing more of that you know just you know working on myself I am on like a little like uh, what do you call it like a little um growth I don't know <laughs> growth journey but yeah so I'm really enjoying just learning and I think um, I'm at a point where you know where you can see where you are and you can see the steps you need to take to get to where you want to be am I making sense I'm there so now mm. I'm at the point where I'm like okay I want to do the work in order to get to the next level so that is where I'm at but yeah teamwork I highly would recommend guys like you know your teammates are there you are there help out where you can get help when you need it just to jump back to the previous point I think another thing that was making it difficult for me to ask for help is the fact that I am a f uh, female developer and there are few of us in this space and sometimes it feels like you know as a female developer when you ask for help or you know when you make a mistake it's like people are waiting for that moment like guys i'm not imagining this i've gotten some really funny comments on this channel where people are like female developers this this blah, 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 blah. but yeah so sometimes i do feel a lot of pressure because there aren't a lot of women in the space and sometimes i'm like okay i'm representing like all the women in the space uh, in the world i can't make a mistake i can't ask for help but you know i'm growing out of it because i'm 25 now my frontal lobe is fully developed i was young but now i'm like you know what this is my space too and i'm allowed to take up space you know if i need help it's okay if I want to say something it's okay so yeah I think just um, you know that's a, like a bit of a difference from like the like my first two years in this career versus now I think just realizing that and yeah but we would love some more women in the space guys come on guys study computer science join me do the boot camps come on guys I believe in you girl boss we got this guys girls code too and that's cool it's fun guys and yeah I hope my channel can show that you know this is a good space to be in and yeah this is for my ladies out there guys we can do it <laughs> but yeah I think um, overall I think it's a good space I haven't gotten like it hasn't been like terrible it's just like the funny com and it's like it's not a work it's like on the channel or on the socials at work it's good I've had like a good experience at work I think it was just like internally feeling like pressure like whoa you know I still feel it though I, I'm not gonna lie I still feel it uh working on it but it's still there but it's like internal pressure of like hashtag girl boss am I making sense <laughs> and yeah guys so my day-to-day -day life it's been pretty much the same for the past three years I still work fully remote so this is my office yeah at my workplace currently <laughs> but this is also my bedroom this is my studio it's my everything so uh but yeah i work fully remote so i really enjoy that i don't really have experience of like going into an office and working with other people so i can't say much of that i'll just be working here so i always wonder like would i survive that because <laughs> it's like that's a lot of work because what i really like now because like um you know i can go on like a walk in the morning get back get ready for work and then just start work at eight like there's no like time for like commuting and at like five when i close my laptop work is done it's like i don't have to travel home i'm already home you know so i really enjoy that so yeah my day to day i think I, I did share a video where i was talking about like what i actually do as a software engineer but basically uh, I'd be in like my daily stand up where we give the updates of like what did I work on yesterday what am I working on today and then um, I get given like tickets so it's just like a piece of work that I'm working on and then I work on that so that's what I do I am front end or mostly front end so yeah I do um, react native and that's what I've been doing for the past three years. I would really love to be exposed to other things. Um, I think now, I think it's good to like have 
to focus on something and be really good at it but it's also nice I think to expose yourself to different things that's why I'm trying to do that outside of work this year that's my goal for 2024 I think that's one thing I haven't been good at um, the past three years just working on my own like projects outside of work just for like you know f just for learning so I really want to do more of that this year and I think you know as I say that I think I've said that in all my videos like my one year as a software engineer two years as a software engineer and I'm saying it again now I really really hope it's gonna happen this year I think what's stopping me from doing that is because I'm just so busy outside of work so as I said um, I run a candle business I create content I teach people how to code and I'm like oh, what else do I do it's a lot of things guys so I do a whole lot of things outside of work I sell candles as well, did I say? Buy my candles, guys. Link in the description. But yeah, I think that that's what has been stopping me is because I, I do so much other things outside of work. But this year, um, because, but I do do some freelance work uh, here and there, just some um, website development. Um, I just usually stick to website development because of like time constraints. But yeah, I'd really like to expand that, learn more. And that's basically where I'm at and guys I think I really want to film like a Q&A video because sometimes when I do these type of videos I feel like there's probably more I could be saying but I don't know what to say so please do drop your questions in the comment section and yeah I'll do a little Q&A and answer all the questions but that is it for today's video guys three years as a software engineer overall I'm really enjoying this journey I I'm like shout out to me for choosing this career because I'm like girl you were kind of onto something because I really enjoy my job and you know it has its challenges like any other job there's ups and downs and so and so on but overall I really enjoy my job I really enjoy my career I'm like mm. Well, I shared it here now. Let me end the video before I cry a little bit. But overall, I enjoy my job. It's been such a great journey. And I love that I've been able to share it with you guys on this channel. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.